It is an honor for me to introduce our first speaker, an engineer, a renowned scientist, an accomplished academic leader, co-founder of National Academy of Engineering uh, uh, Grant Challenges Scholars Initiative, which has spread to more than 100 schools of engineering across the nation, and has facilitated for engineering students to find agency in connecting to their communities and, and to humanity. Um, someone that in his um, short tenure at UConn, already three months at UConn, have uh, created a culture of focus on research excellence, on connecting to our communities and society, and on a student success. Ladies and gentlemen, President Thomas Casalias. Very nice. Appreciate it. Thank you, Kazem. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us today on this very special occasion for University of Connecticut. What a joy it is to be recognizing a stellar electrical engineer, a fellow in, in the profession. In, in his honor, I was telling him at, at the, uh, at the, the warm-up that uh, I wore this electrical engineer's tie, which has four Maxwell's equations descri describing electricity and magnetism uh, to, to recognize our common bond through electrical engineering. I cannot say enough about how much we appreciate the generosity of Stephen and Samuel Altshuler. Their generous gift demonstrates not only their support of the university, but their understanding of the critical importance of cybersecurity. In fact, as I mentioned to Stephen, the National Academy of Engineering identified preventing cyber terror as one of the 14 grand challenges for the 21st century. Every day, no surprise, because every day we hear about cybersecurity breaches large and small. They affect everything from Fortune 500 companies to local governments and, yes, research universities. These attacks are pervading every domain of modern life, from the theft of personal financial and medical information to ransoming critical data to foreign targeting of America's critical infrastructure. And the methods of attack get more sophisticated every day. The Altshuler Cybersecurity Laboratory, which we dedicate today, is a demonstration of the role higher education plays in defending our society against those assaults. And more than that, it really is the poster child of applied research and scholarship and education in the greater public interest. So we're so grateful to the Altschulers uh, for this example of what higher education is at its best. More than just a lab, it also inaugurates a new curriculum requirement that is now part of the national accreditation for the Department of Computer Science and Engineering. Starting this fall, the introductory cybersecurity lab course will be taken by all freshman computer science and engineering students. And the classes here are available to all students because we recognize the central importance of cybersecurity to all aspects of contemporary life. So now, a word about the brothers. As you may know, public spirited brothers have a long and important history at the university. It was a gift of money and land in 1881 from the Storrs brothers that led to the founding of this institution. And today, we are proud to celebrate the gift of $1 million from Stephen and Samuel Altshuler. Thank you. As I said, this laboratory will benefit not only our faculty, students, and staff, but our entire society. Thank you so much to the Altshuler family for your generosity. Please thank them once again with me. At this point, I would like to ask um, Professor Ben Fuller to share with us a few fun facts about the lab that we are going to visit today. So the, these facts will be fun for me because I'm an engineer, and I, I hope they're fun for you as well. Um, so um, as President Tomcat, I, I don't know how to say the name without doing that. Um, that's what I always say is Tomcat. Um, <laughs> um, as he said, we, we start with this introductory cybersecurity class being required this year. Right now we're running a, a pilot because uh, upperclassmen are taking it because they think it's a great experience, which I agree. So we have 30 students running through it each semester this year. That will burgeon to about 100 students each semester next year. 
So we have a, a real serious ramp up happening next year. Um, this lab and this introductory course are unique in both the, the computer science curriculum and I, I think across the nation as a whole because this is an entirely practical cybersecurity lab. It's the first time in my career that I go into a room, I don't, I don't lecture. I mean, I, I talk a lot, but I don't lecture. <laughs> um, so students get a lab, they work through it much like they would a physics or a chemistry lab where they're exploring different aspects of cybersecurity. They're learning why, why passwords are breached so often. They're, they're learning, okay, what actually happens when you log into a computer at a coffee shop? Okay, who can see your information, who can't? Um, so right now we're, we're gonna be showing you a little bit later the introductory class, but that's not the only thing this lab is going to be used for. Essentially our entire cybersecurity concentration is gonna make use of these resources, as well as our information assurance degree, and um, eventually, when, when I'm gonna to be totally ambitious, the entire university in particular partnering with the School of Business. So what I'm gonna be um, showing today, or students are gonna be showing today, is they are trying to understand what actually happens when you log into a wireless network at a coffee shop. Who can see what you're doing, who can't. Um, I promise the students will be good, but they're going to be kicking people off of wireless networks, trying to make them join theirs, steal credentials, which could lead to pretty serious attacks or identity theft. If you don't have experience in cybersecurity before, a lot of what we describe sounds scary. The reason we teach them how to do these things is you have to understand the threats. You have to understand the threats so you can know how to prevent them and be aware of these things. So that's what I'm gonna show you today. I don't wanna take up too much more time because it's much more fun to look at. Our next speaker is uh, Ben Bachmeyer. Bachmeyer. Ben is a senior in computer science and engineering. What I know about Ben is that he's a wonderful sax player in a jazz band. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Um, I don't want to take up too much time, as Ben said, but I'll be brief. Um, so this is, uh, I'm a senior here at UConn uh, studying computer science and engineering with a minor in math, um, and my concentration is cybersecurity. Um, so the, this lab is obviously very uh, important to me and, and my learning here. Um, although it's not a required class yet, um, I'm taking it simply just because I enjoy cybersecurity. Um, so kind of what this lab enables me to do is um, it's kind of the first class that I've been able to get practical knowledge of cybersecurity. Most of my classes have been very theoretical or, um, you know, based on textbooks, but this is purely you go in, you work on the lab, and you actually just learn how to do things that like people would do in the field. So it's, it's awesome. Um, some of the other things I learn obviously is teamwork because we work in groups. So um, we learn teamwork skills, problem solving, and critical thinking skills, all very important um, in the industry as well. Um, kind of how this is important to me and why cybersecurity is important um, is because cybersecurity risks are increasing um, you know, rapidly every year. Um, and more and more devices are actually affected by these uh, risks. Especially now in the age of IoT, you know, everything is connected to the internet. You know, you have a toaster and a fridge that are connected to the internet. And somehow those can be used to get information and uh, steal credentials from, from other things. Um, and also, you know, without cybersecurity, companies uh, would essentially fail. You know, we, we've seen in the news that uh, companies like Facebook and things have data breaches, you know, with very serious consequences. Um, one chilling fact that I actually read was that now there are over 4,000 uh, hacks. <coughs> Sorry. 4,000 hacks every single day uh, using ransomware alone. So uh, it's extremely, uh, you know, uh, important that we know that, th that these affect uh, everybody on a daily basis. Um, also, uh, another fun fact was that in 2017, an estimated global cost of cybercrime added up to about $600 billion. Um, which is a huge number. <laughs> so it's very important that we learn the, uh, how to be preventative and, le and less reactive to these things. Um, and I think this lab has done a very good job at doing that. We we're seeing how the attacks work and uh, how they are conducted so that we can prevent them in the future. Um, and some of the opportunities that I get from studying cybersecurity um, is first and foremost, I would say, is lucrative job opportunities. <laughs> um, it's a booming industry right now. Um, and hopefully that, you know, Secu gives me job security for the rest of my life as well. Um, 
it gives you the freedom to work, uh, you know, wherever I want. You know, there's opportunities everywhere in cybersecurity around the world. Um, so that's extremely important to me. And it also gives me the knowledge and capability to hopefully start my own company eventually in the field of cybersecurity. So uh, I mean, I'm enjoying the class so far. I love it. I'm learning a lot. Um, and thank you guys for listening. <laughs> It's now my honor to introduce um, our next speaker, our guest of honor, Mr. Sam Altshuler. Sam, as a successful um, serial entrepreneur, is the founder and president of oh, Stephen. Sorry, <laughs> Sam. Unfortunately, Sam couldn't join us, and I can't actually stop thinking about him. And I hope he's well. <laughs> but. Um, uh, Stephen uh, is the founder and president of Alltech Company in Torrington, Connecticut, manufacturer of electronic circuit board, uh, printed circuit board assemblies. He's the former director and vice president of Northwestern Connecticut Chamber of Commerce. With his brother Sam, Stephen established the Altshuler Family Scholarship in Engineering in 1993, which to date has impacted the lives of tens of um, tens of engineering students and have enabled them to, to study engineering at UConn. He served on the Board of Trustees for the University of Connecticut from 86 to 93, and he was inducted into the Academy of Distinguished Engineers at UConn in 2004. Sam, please join us. Steve. Steve, please join us. <laughs> Kazem is more excited than anyone else here. <laughs> uh, uh, the the Altshuler family has a, uh, a deep uh, connection to the University of Connecticut. Uh, my father, for example, was an electrician and then eventually a uh, teacher of the electrical trade at the uh, Norwich Regional Technical School. Uh, he. Uh, got a degree here from the university at Storrs when, when he learned that in order to advance in the school system, he needed that degree. Uh, he, he got his degree a few years before I got mine. Um, my mother was a house mother after my father passed away at Kingston House here for quite a few years. Uh, and uh, my brother, of course, uh, graduated before me and uh, then there was me in uh, 1954, a long time ago. Now, my brother, unfortunately, uh, is unable to be with us today, uh, but he sent uh, four of his children to whom you've already been introduced. And I see that Jim here has uh, got his camera up. And I believe that my brother Sam is watching uh, this affair from his living room in uh, Lexington, Massachusetts. Now, my brother feels very strongly that our country must take every step possible to achieve world leadership in the critical area of cybersecurity. And he's very proud that we were able to join together to make this very important gift to the university. About seven decades ago, slightly before we graduated from the Yukon School of Engineering, the transistor was invented. That magnificent achievement ultimately allowed the development of all the computers, cell phones, and other digital offspring with which we are so familiar. But as is so often the case, so often the case, advancements are accompanied by associated problems. And those problems are why we are gathered here today. I'm pretty sure you are all familiar with spam. And likewise, most of you have heard about hacking. These interferences can adversely affect the computing experience, sometimes in devastating ways. Over the years, antivirus programs and firewalls effectively evolved to pretty much keep us fairly safe, but not completely so. This laboratory is designed to help students studying cybersecurity 
to emulate the hacking experience and then discover ways to prevent its effectiveness. The funding provided includes a component for replacement of equipment as the science evolves. It is our vision, my brother and I, that this facility and the top-notch staff that has been gathered to steward it will become a center of excellence for the advancement of cybersecurity knowledge. Thank you. So it's not every day that we get to deliver a proclamation from the governor here, President Katsilidis. And Stephen, if you could join us, please. Whereas Brother Samuel, 1950, and Stephen Altshuler, 1954, earned their bachelor's degrees in electrical engineering at the University of Connecticut and have built successful businesses in the technology sector, and whereas both Samuel and Stephen Altshuler have directed a significant portion of their philanthropy to the advancement of higher education in New England and at the University of Connecticut in particular, and whereas the brothers have created a scholarship that has helped approximately 60 Yukon engineering students pursue their dream of attaining undergraduate degrees in electrical systems engineering, manufacturing, or computer science and engineering, and whereas in creating a $1 million endowment to establish the Altshuler Cybersecurity Laboratory at UConn, the Altshulers have ensured that the School of Engineering can adequately prepare the next generation of cybersecurity specialists. And whereas this hands-on laboratory will play a crucial role in protecting the digital future of industry, government, and individuals throughout our state, and whereas, there's one more, Samuel and Stephen Altshuler have been and continue to be exceptional ambassadors for and supporters of engineering higher education in Connecticut. Now, therefore, I, Ned Lamont, governor of the state of Connecticut, do hereby convey honor and recognition upon Samuel and Stephen Altshuler in the state of Connecticut. Thank you. As, as we are closing, um, or coming close to the close of the program, I would like to actually share a story. And I hope that you do not mind or you could indulge the, a bit of a humor from an engineer. There was, there was this engineer and the scientist that decided to go on camping. And they go on camping, and after a good campfire and a bottle of wine, they, they, they go to sleep in a tent that they had set up. In the middle of the night, the engineer wakes up, and then Nujo is the, the scientist and says, wake up, wake up. What, what happened, he asked. Oh, look up, look up, tell me what you see. I, he responds that he sees a lot of um, um, stars. And the engineer asks, what does that tell you? It, it tells me astronomically that we are looking at millions of galaxies that contain billions of stars and their light has traveled more than 200 million years to get to us. Astrologically, I can, I can deduce that Saturn is in Leo and meteorologically, I can say that tomorrow is going to be a nice day and horologically, I deduce that it's about 15 minutes past three. Why, why do you ask? What do you see? And the engineer looks up and says that, I think someone has stolen our tent. <laughs> so, and, ladies and gentlemen, our tent is stolen, and our tent is that tent of safety and security from us, and it is stolen. So this lab is a lot more than just an undergraduate lab for us. It is a lot more than a science experiment. It is for us providing the skill sets that our engineers need to be successful in this war against the bad guys. 
And believe me, that is a war that, no, I, I actually, yesterday I went on the State Department site and I looked at the most recent, actually 2019 major, and they define major, they have some parameters to define major, cybersecurity attacks. And there are, I think Ben mentioned some number around 4,000, there are thousands and thousands of major cybersecurity attacks on the United States from within United States, from Southeast Asia, from Middle East, from Europe, from Eastern Europe, from everywhere. And the skill set that our engineers, our scientists, our computer scientists needed, need to, to fight that is, need, uh, is, is lacking. So um, it is um, Sam and Joan, uh, I, Stephen and Joan, and, and if Sam and Nancy are watching us live, thank you very much for providing this opportunity to our students, for trusting us and trusting our students and investing in them. This is a gift that will continue to impact far beyond our students, our communities, and our country. Thank you.